here today with the three most effective ways to help parents. My school gets for fun. However, I got a lot of views and I got a lot of comments. Y'all see my shirt? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. And definitely thank you for sharing. I do appreciate all the love and I appreciate you guys growing with me. Today, what we will be discussing is home ownership. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys, um, the end goal to renting and all of that fun stuff is home ownership, okay? These are a few techniques that I used and these are a few techniques Actually, these are techniques that a lot of people use. Like you really cannot get past these um, in your home ownership journey because they're necessary and they're needed. Although you may not know a few things. So I'm here to shine a little light on some things. So get your pens, get your paper, get your notepads. Take no We taking notes, okay? Meet me back here in three minutes. All right. Okay, so first piece of advice that I want to give is credit list. The first thing that you need to work on is your credit score. You got to get that credit score right, okay? Don't be discouraged. When you do check your credit score, if it's a little low, that's okay. You have financial institutions that will finance you. You have first-time homeowner uh, programs. You have all of that stuff. So that's not a, a concern. However, if you're in the threes, it is a concern. So you do want to check your credit score. Um, you want to see where you are, if you need to build, how much you want to build. You know, the higher your credit score with anything, the lower your interest. You want to make sure that you're watching who starts to hit your credit report and your score. A way to do that is myself personally, I went through Experian. Uh, I signed up and I logged on and they give you, they report um, from all three bureaus, which is Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. What they do is they give you your credit score with all three. Give or take, they may be off one or two points, uh, maybe about five, six points. I take that back because one was real off. I was like, no, no. Nevertheless, you want to look at those and you want to watch those. Those. Now, a key is if you log on and you notice that one of your debts are on, uh, just say, Equifax and it's on TransUnion and it's on Experian, you can hit two of those and let them know, I'm already, this debt is already being reported here. Can you take that off? And they'll take it off. And the good thing about uh, Equifax is, they dispute things on your credit report and that stuff is clear within three days. I know this one person, his parents put the phone in their name. Okay, he was like 11 or 12. Yeah, no, take that off please and thank you. Within three days, that $800 was removed, okay? Yeah, that's your debt, not mine. So you definitely wanna do that and you wanna watch your score. And another thing is you wanna watch who hits it because uh, even though they may say, oh, it's a soft hit. Say if you even apply for a cell phone, if you apply for a, 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 a credit card or any line of credit, they'll hit your credit to see if you're worthy of even them doing business with you. But when they do that, sometimes it can take you down two points, one point. And y'all know, baby, them points are like gold. Credit is key. Now, if you don't have credit, say if you had a cell phone bill for, um, you know, three, four years and you've been on time and you up kept it, or say if you, you subscribe to a magazine for some years and you've always paid your subscription, that's called non-traditional. They'll take that too. Um, and if you want traditional credit, I, I say get a gas card. I wouldn't say a credit card because you'll be really tempted. But if you get you a gas card at a gas station, use it. Fill your tank up, pay them back fill your tank up, pay them back. I, when I first had got my credit uh, card, I thought that um, you just use it once and you put it up, pay them off, that's it. Well, I kept checking my credit score and it wasn't rising at all. And I'm like, dad, what the heck? Well, somebody was like, no, you have to use your credit card. Like they want to establish a relationship. They want to know that if I give her money, she's going to pay me back. If I give her some more money, she's going to pay me back. People can pay somebody back one time. You know, they want to make sure that you're going to consistently pay them back. So definitely check your credit score, see where you are. Like I say, don't get discouraged because you're only working your way up. You got to start somewhere, right? All right. During your journey, you want to know how much home you can afford. Like what's your debt to income ratio? So you want to know how much money am I actually putting out versus the money that I'm taking in? You want to be able to 
have those figures so you'll be able to know what your monthly payment what you're looking at and they have a lot of um, mortgage tools where they can uh, tell you how much you're you know how much you make how much home that you want to buy do you want to buy a home for a hundred thousand dollars do you want to spend four hundred thousand dollars on a home or are you okay with a $75,000 home? Are you okay with a $59,000 home? Do you want a fixer upper? Um, you know, you want to determine how much you want to afford and how much you can afford. You never want to bite off more than you can chew though. Even though they approve you for, I'll use me as an example. So they approved me for 210,000. Why would I do that? I, I, why would I sit there and take all of that just because they approved me for that? I didn't take all of that. Actually, it was it was it was sixty thousand, and then we did the American Dream. So, for example, the American Dream, they'll give you twenty thousand dollars, and you can customize your house how you want. So we got a new roof. Um, we had like my home is is nice, and we have two furnaces, like so, an AC on this end of the home and an AC on this end of the home. Uh, we had a fence put in because we do have dogs and the swimming pool. You have to have that fenced in if you do have a pool. Uh, we the fancy the push button toilets and all of that stuff, you know. And we took advantage of that, but that's what that money is for. Also, the American Dream can go if you find a fixer upper and you still want to get other things done or new appliances or, you know, just new things like that. So uh, you definitely want to check that out. It's called the American Dream and it's a first time home buyers uh, program. Nevertheless, don't go going for the big house. Don't go for, ooh, it's all new construction. Don't go for all of that, especially if you got somebody who's handy. Me, I am a DIY all day, honey. I will spray paint, paint, change the knobs. I will lay concrete, okay? I will do it all. So I'm a big DIY person because you save and why not? It's fun. That's like your own personal touches into your forever home one of your forever homes, or if you're going to flip it or whatever it may be, but you definitely want to uh, sit down and calculate how much you can afford. All right, love. So these curls, honey, they're everywhere. Next is um, agencies. You want to outsource agencies, okay? There are so many agencies that will help you fund your home. They will help fund your down payment. They will help you with pretty much almost anything that you need help uh, in your home ownership, in your journey. So me, myself, it was Better Family Life and then I had an IDA account and um, it was one more and I can't put my finger on it, but all they wanted to do was I literally had to go into their little classes for like an hour or maybe two hours, sit there, ate bread company, okay? Listen to them tell me how I should become financially responsible and have them tell me how I should save. And, you know, if it's a new outfit that you want to get, you you want to think, and, you know, can you go without? Well, while I'm sitting there munching up, honey, they're dropping coins into my little home ownership bank. So you definitely want to take advantage. The IDA accounts, those you can use for education. You can use for a home ownership, self-improvement. Um, not self-improvement, but well, self-improvement as far as like home ownership or credit or, you know, something like that. My IDA account, they match three to one. So every dollar I put in, they put in three dollars. Um, I believe it was like as minimum as six months and up to like 36 months. Myself, I gave myself like a two year limit. I started doing all of my stuff like two years in advance. I always watched the homeowner shows. I would look around. I've always been into home owning. I've owned my home before. So I already kind of knew what it was and how long it would take for me and myself. You want to outsource those agencies, see what they have to offer, get on their list, take advantage of everything. I don't care if they say we'll give you a thousand dollars if you sit here for a year. That thousand dollars will add up. At the end, when it was all said and done, my closing cost was like nine thousand dollars and i only came out of four hundred dollars all the other was money coming from all the other agencies that i took advantage of so make sure y'all go look in your neighborhood see what they have to offer see okay you guys so after you all have done all of that after you guys have done hold on 
After you guys have done all of that stuff, you've been checking your credit report, you outsource some agencies, you uh, know how much home you uh, can afford or you want to afford. And so based on that, you're like, okay, I need to start saving. I need to put that trip up. I need to not go for the fancy car. Next, you want to set a goal. Set a goal. Set a couple, you lot. Set a couple um, short-term goals and long-term goals. Of course, we know short-term goals is like six months or less, and long-term is more. Well, short-term is kind of like, well, for me, it's six months or less. Uh, for some, it can be a year or less, anything over that is long-term. But with you on your journey, you know what you need. So if it's in two years, I want to own my home, well, that first year should be Okay, that first six months, let me knock off some of this on my credit report. That next six months, let me dedicate all of my checks. Let me start saving. Uh, let me, you know, just, just, you know what timeline works best for you. But set a goal. Definitely set something that's achievable and um, reachable. You don't want to set no, ooh, in six months, I'm going to have $100,000. My credit score is going to be 850. You know what I'm saying? Be reasonable. Work your way up, you know? Um, me personally, like I say, I did a two-year because I knew what I want. I knew what I could afford. I knew where I needed to improve in some areas. I know where I needed to have my coin stack up more. I knew what credit cards and what credit I needed to stop messing with and pay off and get done. All right, so, so last but not least, a little bit of advice I have on your homeowner uh, journey. Um, I say manifest. Think positive, okay? Put it out there. When I buy my home in two years, when I buy my home in three years, in five years, ooh, I can't wait to get my home. Start looking at those homeowner shows. Um, start going around your neighborhood or the neighborhood that you want to see yourself in. Start putting it out there. Attract that positive energy. Start telling people. people you know, it kills me because I be seeing posts and, you know, they're like, be quiet. Um, don't let nobody know what you're doing until it's done. Uh, don't speak on it. Um, let them think, uh, you know, sit back and be quiet. No, no, it's okay. You're not boasting. You're not bragging. You're letting it be known. I'm on the home ownership path. You may inspire someone else. They may come to you like, wow, what agency is that? Or, oh, you don't, you don't have to always... You know, it's not what you do, it's how you do. Now, if you out here like, yeah, because I'm getting this house, y'all still written. Why y'all written? Come on now. That's just bad karma and bad energy anyway. You don't want to be like that. Time, speak on it. Put it out there. You know, oh, no, I'm saving for this, honey. I want to purchase my home. Oh, no, you guys, I can't go out or um, tomorrow I got this class, y'all. It's this home ownership class. I know when I was purchasing my home, I was telling people, I'm going to this class. Um, I'm doing this. I got my IDA account. And they was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's interesting you know i want to know about it but they would never really tap in sure enough once my stuff was completed then they wanted me to start all over now now what was that you said not tell them it's your ID, my ida account i went through this google it you know but at the same time look put it out there be inspiring nothing is wrong you may inspire someone if you're a cna if you're a cmt if you're a janitor if you're a nurse if you're an lpn or an rn if you're a nurse, um, if you work at McDonald's, you know, if you're talking about home ownership, somebody else might be like, wow, we're in the same bracket. Wow, we work at the same place. We get about the same hours. Not sure what she make, not sure what they have going on. But you know what? If she can do it, I can, I can do it too. Let me ask and be open. Share your knowledge. Stop doing all that. I'm going to pop out at the last minute like, oh, you know, don't do all of that. Don't 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 do that y'all know them posts that i be talking about those irritate me like no speak on it be glad be 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 prideful in it you know don't be too arrogant do it with elegance and just let them know yes honey you want to sign up here here's the course here's the class this is what i'm doing it'll work for you come with me you know all we do is just eat sandwiches all day and listen to them talk and they're depositing coins and they help you be of some service don't be all quiet don't hide it, divide it. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope this little bit of advice, information, I hope it works for you. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop them 
feel free to drop them and um, drop a house if y'all on your home. Drop two houses if you on your second home. Drop me some knowledge I may need to know. You know, we're learning every day. Knowledge is key. You can never have enough, okay? They say I got a big forehead. I say because it's a lot of knowledge going in there, okay? Tap in, subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Share and y'all enjoy. Stay blessed. Good luck on your home ownership on this journey. It's definitely worth it. Bye.